Hello everyone, in this tutorial video, I will explain the for statement of the PHP programming language. But before that, please support this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and hit also the notification bell so that you will be notified with all the new videos that I'm going to upload in this channel. And so what is this for statement in PHP programming? Basically, this is used to repeat some statements a number of times. Let's say three times. For statement is best at that. If you know how many times it will run the script or it will run the statements or execute the statements, then for statement is the best loop statement to use. Now, how it works? Well, first is we have to know the syntax of the for statement. So as you can see, after the for, you must have the open parenthesis and you must have close parenthesis somewhere here. And then inside it, you will have three parameters. The first one will be the initial value followed by the condition and then your counter. You will also have open and close curly bracket and in between those curly brackets it is here where you will place your statements to be repeated so i said statements because you can place any number of expressions here inside the curly brackets so you can place here mathematical expression you can place here loop statements also if statement also anything you can place here that means all the statements inside the curly bracket will be executed. As long as this condition is true, all the statements here will be executed. It will keep on going down here and then it will go up again in 14. It will go up again here and then it will, if this condition is true again, and so it will execute all these statements here. Now, exactly how it works. During the first execution of the for, it will only execute the initial value and the condition. Now, what is the initial value? The initial value is the value that you need to set initially so that it will know where to start. Because, like I said a while ago, if you would like to loop for three times, then you have to start somewhere. So if you will start at 1, then it will end at 3. So 1, 2, and 3. If you will start in 0, then you have to end at 2. So you will start at 0, and then 1, and then 2. So that, that means 3 times. Right? Now, who will count for that? It is here, this one here, the counter here. Okay, so that's how it is. So again, during the first time it will execute, it will only execute initial value and then your condition. For you to understand better, I have an example here in line 20 wherein my initial value is $x is equal to 1. And then I will have my condition here. Like I said a while ago, the first time it will loop, it will only execute the initial value and then followed by the condition. So your condition here will tell when to stop the loop. So something like that. So x is equal to 1 so we know that x is 1 and then it will test so after this condition here it will test is x less than equal 3 so if that is true then it will come inside line 21 so it will go inside the open and close curly bracket here because inside the open and close curly brackets those are the statements that it will repeat and so, because x is less than equal to 3, and that is true, as long as this is true, it will keep on executing the statements inside your curly bracket, the code block. Okay, so it will execute x, and so it will print x, which is 1. Okay, so something like that. And then it will come back again in 20. It will execute again 20. This is the second time. Now, during the second time, the second loop until the end of the loop, what will happen? It will only execute the increment. It 
we'll execute first this and then followed by the condition. Okay, so that's how it will execute the statements. So first, it will execute this. This is the second time. So again, it will execute x++. plus plus. So before x is 1, now x will become 2. And so since it is 2, it will execute now this condition here. So 2 less than equal 3, the answer there is true. And so therefore, it will execute again line 21. And then it will go to 22. And then it will come back again here in line 20. So like I said, from second until the end of the loop, it will only execute the increment or the counter and then followed by the condition. So x++ again, that means plus 1. Just like C programming or C++ programming, x++ or the plus plus means plus 1. So before the x is 2, now it becomes 3. So 3 then it will go here. So 3 less than equal 3. The answer is true. Because it is equal to 3. And so therefore, it will execute again line 21. And then 22 again. And then it will come back again in 20. And so it will execute again this counter here. So plus plus. So before it is 3, now it is 4. So 4 less than equal 3. The answer now here is false and so therefore that's the end of the loop so what will happen it will go to 23 that's the end of the program based on our example here and if you have some codes here in line 23 or 24 it will just jump here in 23 or 24 so if you have codes here those codes will be executed so again once this becomes false it will get out of the loop in this case line 23 so that's how the for statement is working. So you just have to remember these three things here and you will be able to create a program using the for statement in no time. If we try to run this, this is the output of the program. Let's add some more code. Let's say I would like to put this one here. So let's try to run it. There you go. And so that's the output. First, it will execute the for statement. So it, we will start at 1. And so we have here the 1. Echo dollar $x is 1. Because 1 is less than equal 3. And so therefore, it, that is true. It will go down. Echo dollar $x, that's the 1. And then line 22 will be executed. So this is 1 multiplied by 1 equal then the answer dollar x multiplied by dollar x that is one then br will just go to the next line and so you will have this here okay so it will come back again x will become two and so on and so finally when it will stop looping then this is the final output of the program now it is not only x plus plus here okay you can also try uh, minus minus meaning to say minus one so let's say from three to one so i will start at three and then i will just simply say until one so while the x is greater or equal one as long as it is like that as long as this condition is met then it will keep on going down so if we will run this it means we will start from the three so there you go so three two one so something like that okay not only that you can also use arithmetic operation here let's say for example i want to increase by one so let's say i'm going to return it to until 10 for example so i will start from one and i would like to stop at 10 but this time it will increment by two and so i will say so something like this plus equal to this means x is equal to x plus 2, meaning to say it is incrementing by 2. So this is the shortcut of it. Just like in C or C++ programming or in Java programming, it's also available. This one here, this one here. Okay. So let us see. There you go. So I started at 1 and then plus 2, that makes it 3. Plus 2, that makes it 5. 
plus 2 that makes it 9 or 7 I'm s and then followed by the 9 okay so that's how it works so again three parameters here your initial value your condition and your increment I have another example here wherein I added these lines here program codes here in combination with HTML so as you can see in line 26 I have established a table and I end it at line 35 slash table so I have a table but it will be the PHP that will generate the number of rows or the rows as well as columns so as you can see I have here TR and I have another slash TR here okay so I have two TDs it means I will have two columns let's try to run this go to run and so therefore it is like this this is the output of that so it is the PHP that generated the rows and columns so as you can see while it is going into the loop every time it goes into the loop here it creates one row and then it, within that row it will create two columns so as you can see in this output here so in the first column basically I just put this this number one here this number one here I just put it in the first column and then on the second column I just put these values here so 1 times 1 is equal to 1 then on the next row 2 then 2 times 2 is equal to 4 and so on so you can combine again because this is a scripting language you can combine HTML codes and your PHP script or the PHP code I hope you have learned something new in this tutorial video. Thank you very much for watching and see you on my next one.